Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Simon Ward with another of our videos. But before we continue with that, firstly, I must introduce my Christmas jumper and the Emperor Penguin. What do you think? Uh, if you like it, please give me lots of thumbs up and likes on the blog post or on the Facebook page. Um, anyway, <clears throat> up to this point we've been talking about how we develop a program for an athlete. Right from the very moment they send us their questionnaire to the point where we are actually ready to start. And we're, and we're almost to that point now. So if you remember on previous videos I wrote a phase plan describing what was going to happen during um, the whole year. I mapped out a weekly schedule for them that we'd like to try and stick to to give them some anchor points with the training and so that they know what's coming on each day. Um, and when we've agreed that with them, then I showed you how I roughed out a, uh, a week of training at the, uh, at the coffee shop or what I would be doing at the coffee shop. So now, having done that, uh, I would come back to the office and I would start to use the computer which is here in front of me. So we use training peaks. If you remember, I've got the graph here. I've got the little grid of the. Um, I've got the little grid of the workouts for the week, and that's all been put on there. Okay, that was what I did in the coffee shop. So then I go to this, and um, using training peaks, I go to my menu of programs. I've got several, well, several hundred on here. All sorts of different programs now. These programs at the moment, the generic, each workout is generic. It's a basic warm up, a main set, and a cool down. So if we have, um, if we look at a particular one here, we look, we can type in the uh, into the search box and get a particular one. We look at a, let's take a tempo run. This is a 60 minute tempo run. It has a 10 minute build up, uh, warm up, building pace. It has some 10, 10 minutes of drills. Then it has um, 35 minutes of tempo running at around 80 to 85 percent and then it has a five minute cool down. So what we do first is we take the programs from here in line with the schedule that we've mapped out and we drag them from here into the box. Okay? And it takes uh, it takes four or five minutes to do that and when we've well, it probably takes about ten minutes to do that and when we're done this is what we have. We have the athletes workouts for the week or for the for the three week block as we've done that we've been going along and crossing them off here so with my OCD mind I get a sense of satisfaction when that's all done and now we have the athlete program on here but these are still generic now there are some sessions on here that are just easy they're padding they're endurance so if you see this ride to work and ride home it's just at a steady pace there's no real intensity required at the moment but there are some key sessions so um, here is our tempo workout and, and the instruction there says using the VDOT tables the tempo pace is just a bit slower than 10k pace. So this is how we make that program individual because we go into here and on this athlete here, uh, on, on this pacing chart I have CSS which is swim pacings based on a time trial they've done. I have VDOT from a recent run time trial and I have functional threshold from a, um, an indoor bike test. Okay so for that run we look at this guy's um, we look at this guy's pacing chart and we see that his tempo pace is approximately four minutes thirty three per kilometer and so what we would do in this particular workout here is we put that the 20, 20 minutes of tempo running is to be done at four thirty three per kilometer now there might be another athlete who's got a similar workout he's also got a forty minute tempo run but because he's a faster runner he might be asked to run at four minutes per kilometer. We do the same for significant swim sessions and we do the same for significant bike sessions. And that's how we make the program individual. So I start off with generic sessions, I put them in the plan and then I go through and I make the key sessions more individual. Now of course we're working within a range and I might just be asking them to work within 75 to 80% and they'll know what that is based on the pacing chart. So that's how we put the program together. When that's done, Everything's on the screen as it is here. It's all being individualised. The blank spaces for the rest days, and then the athlete gets a text or an email to say your program is now up on Training Peaks. And because they get that on a Monday or a Tuesday before the following week when they're due to start, there's plenty of time if they need to make changes because of work or, or family commitments. So that's it. The athlete is good and ready to go. And in tomorrow's video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how we manage the program on a daily and weekly basis. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.